Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakwadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to entitle this video, The End Goal. Okay, and I got a few scriptures lined up. It's going to be real quick. But what is the end goal to what we're doing? Because you have a lot of people. If you notice people that come up to the camp, um, sometimes they'll say, well, you know, well, well, what is what, you know, what is the purpose? What's the end goal? You know, what do you what, what, what point are you guys trying to get across? OK, and the point is or the end goal is the kingdom of heaven. We're pushing that the kingdom of heaven is going to be established on Earth. OK, but before that happens, um, America, Babylon, the great, as it is written in the Holy Scriptures, has to be destroyed. OK, in, in the third world's war, third world's war. OK, and different parts of the earth are going to be destroyed as well. But in order for the kingdom of heaven to be established, um, no wickedness can can reign on the earth. So these wicked societies and these wicked countries and different parts of the earth, they're going to be destroyed. OK, by the way of uh, World War Three and the coming of our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai with the innumerable amount of angels okay and then the kingdom of heaven is going to be established on earth okay new jerusalem is going to come down from heaven which that's the elect and their new bodies okay and then righteousness will be established all right also um the elected nation of israel is going to be delivered amongst you negroes latinos and native americans okay but all this wickedness and all this, uh, you know, a series of events have to take place on the earth first. But you, but but you have the prophets out there. Like us, brothers, you see on the highways and the byways, we're the Lord's mouthpiece and we're delivering that message via prophecy. OK, so this is the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse five. It says these 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles into and into any and into any any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Excuse me, Salaki, your brothers. And the um the twelve were the apostles were the um disciples which became uh, apostles. They were sent away. Okay, and that that ultimately goes for all of us. Technically, we're all apostles because we're all sent away. Okay, to to uh, teach this word. You know, so let me read that again. These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's what you see us out there doing. We're going out there to wake up you Israelites, okay? Because you are the Lord's people, but we understand that there is only the elect amongst you was going to wake up. All right. And as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So that's the end goal. We're preaching to let you know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We're in the latter times. It is a high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. OK, when you look around the world today, you see this filth. You see all types of madness. You clearly you can see that we're. Uh, um, in the in the latter days, man. Okay, the days of Noah all over again. You know, the days a lot. This th these kingdoms in that that's ruling the earth. Well, America, Babylon, the Great is the uh, hammer of the earth. But these 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 different kingdoms around the earth, man, they're polluted. And America, Babylon, the Great is the most polluted. That's why it's known as. Um, uh, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You know? So we're preaching saying that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. These societies are going down. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. 
freely ye have received, freely give. And we're able to do all those things. We're able to heal the sick. Okay? Because really when you look at it, okay, when you come into this truth, you're healed from being sick. Okay? Because what are you taught in this world? You're taught to, to, to eat abominable foods, to commit abominable acts, to, to, to have heathen-like behavior. So we were, we were all, us brothers that's been in this truth for a while, we're, we're, we were ultimately healed from being sick. Okay? And ultimately, we were raised from the dead, man, because we were dead. Don't the scriptures say in their dead bodies shall lie in the uh, street in the, uh, in the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt? So we were raised from that dead state. It says cast out devils. We do that often, man. Okay, freely ye have received, freely give. And this word is free. We don't have a bucket out there to, uh, uh, you know, uh, say drop the donations here. This word is free, man. This is free knowledge. And, this, and it's the most incredible knowledge you can have on the planet Earth as an Israelite man. Okay? So, so back to verse 7. And as ye go, preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. And that's what we're teaching. Okay? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And let's skip down to the 32nd verse. Uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I also, um, him will I confess also before my father, which is in heaven. And that's what we're doing. We're confessing Yahweh Shai in the world, man. That's another thing we're supposed to do when we out there. We're not out there to exalt ourselves, but we're out there to exalt Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is going to get his slice of cake first, man. And then we're going to eat. Okay? Because remember, brothers, we're known as joint heirs. So another part of the end goal is to, is to confess Yahweh Shai in the world. Because by us doing that, he's going to confess us before his father. Okay, it says, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Okay, and you don't want to be on that side. <laughs> uh, you don't want to be on that side of the fence. It says, think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So Yahweh Shai is coming to do what? Divide, to set division, to set the sheep from the goats. Okay, like Tracy Morgan said in that Super Bowl commercial, I think they come in peace and then, and then something blew up in the background. Well, Yahweh Shai said he's not, he didn't come to send peace and he's coming with the innumerable amount of angels. Okay, and they're coming to scoop up the elect and to destroy certain parts of the earth, man. All right. So, like I said, another part of the end goal. It's to confess Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Second Corinthians. Chapter four and verse 18. And it reads, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. OK, and everything around this pleasant uh, rulers around this current rulership, we can see it. OK. But we look at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And what is that, brothers? The kingdom of heaven that's going to be established on earth. OK, because our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. That's going to dwell even forever, forever, even even forever, man, forever and ever and ever and ever. But this current society, OK, this current a uh, world structure is temporal because the Lord said his kingdom going to be established on earth. So ultimately the end goal is the kingdom of heaven. That's my point, man. Okay. Which we can't see that right now, but we can, we, you know, we can imagine it, we can envision it, but if we're of the elect pretty soon, we're going to be present, you know, but we understand what has to go on. We understand America, Babylon, the Great has to be destroyed. We understand Jacob's trouble has to take place. We understand Daniel's 12 has to take place. 
We get we, we know all of that. You know? And Lord willing, we're in the kingdom drinking wine with Yahweh Shai. You know, drinking wine with each other, man. Breaking bread. Finally get to relax and put our feet up. Because we're tired of this shit, man. You know, this wicked kingdom and other kingdoms that brothers are scattered in. You know? So, hopefully you brothers were edified. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash. Once again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. It's the brother Zion signing off. Shalom.